So on Friday, this happened. Who are your favourite YouTubers? Oh my god, there's a guy you need to follow. He's really good friends of Jack Mate actually, but he's called Robbie Knox. That's the brilliant Helen Anderson. She's a proper YouTuber, not just a bloke who goes to the tip every now and then and films it. Helen said lots of lovely things, some of them true. He makes his vlogs like about the most mundane stuff. And some of them might bring legal action from big American YouTubers. He is legit like the English version of Casey Neistat. Because you said nice things, lots of Helen's viewers turn up my channel. So instead of having around 100 views in 48 hours like usual, the last 48 hours I've had two and a half thousand. My subscribers have gone up from around 160 to over 750. This is very welcome, but I feel a sense of responsibility towards these new viewers. They don't want to see a man go to the tip or drive around a Vauxhall Vectra. They need some female-friendly, young demographic content. Hey guys, I've just been down to Sainsbury's, dropped 55 quid on a few things, uh, and I thought I'd just go through now and show you what I bought. First of all, I've got some bananas. There you go. Don't know if you had bananas before. Got a little sticker, it says fair trade on them. It's quite hard to get bananas that aren't fair trade now. They don't really seem to sell them anymore, uh, which is good, I guess. What I like about bananas is they're not that messy. Like an orange can be quite sticky on your fingers and a banana, it comes in its own packaging and you can just eat the banana. It's fairly clean afterwards. There's not much residue. You can just chuck the banana skin away and you're fine. Uh, so yeah, that's why I bought bananas really, quite like them. Probably take a few days for them to go ripe though, a bit of green on them. Okay, so this is pasta. Uh, got some spicy Calabrian Nduja Gran Tortelloni, which I don't really know what it is. I think it's like some kind of salami meaty thing. And a pumpkin sage one, because my wife's vegetarian, so I'll have this and she'll have this, uh, probably. Some of them, maybe I'll have a bit of this as well. I don't know really, we haven't really decided, I haven't really had a conversation about it. I probably should give her a ring downstairs in a minute. Um, I'll probably do that with a sauce, uh, but I didn't buy a sauce because sauce has been quite expensive. What I got, I got these um, chopped tomatoes, and I'm gonna make my own sauce. These are on sale for uh, £2.50. Oh, it says YouTube on it. Now maybe check out the Napolina YouTube recipes. See what's on there, if you like that, if you like YouTube and stuff. They're on sale, so I get another pack as well. You can quite often get chopped tomatoes on sale if you're not really brand specific and, and that loyal to a brand. So I got these, so pretty happy with it, yeah. Some puff pastry, might make sausage rolls. I've got some, uh, some sausage meat left over from when I made uh, fatty for a video uh, last week. Uh, and so I'll, I'll, I don't know if it's gone off because I left it in the sun for a bit. If it's still good, I'm going to make sausage rolls later. Uh, quite easy, just put sausage meat in that. And people think you're like, ooh, kitchen god. Just some stuff in something and put it in the oven. Actimel is like bacteria, isn't it, for your ass? Uh, I don't really know much about it, but it seems to be like genuine science rather than nonsense science that you need some kind of ass bacteria. So I figured I'd get this. You put it in your mouth, you don't stick out there. My wife wanted fish fingers, so I got these ones. They're like, taste the difference fish fingers rather than your, your normal ones. I think the normal ones can be a bit thin and lacking in fish, whereas these look quite chunky. Premium fish finger, if you will, and I think I've earned them. Here's some potatoes. I'm gonna do a roast later. Uh, King Edwards, very much the king of potatoes for roast. Uh, I'd, I'd recommend those. You can get by with a Maris Piper, but it's just not the same. And, and beyond that, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it. People say parboil them. I'd go a little bit more than par, almost fully boil them. Give a little shake once you've drained them in the pan. Chuck them in duck or goose fat. Oh, fuck, I forgot the goose fat. Wife's vegetarian, says so we're going to eat chicken. So I've got nut cutlets for her. Quite nice of me. Vegetarian peppered corn steaks in case she doesn't like the nut cutlets. Tiny sausages, they always go well with chicken. I got chicken the other day, I forgot the chicken. Uh, I might wrap bacon around and make them pigs in blanket or I might just leave them as they are because I'm quite lazy. I probably can't be bothered to do that. We'll see, I mean, only time will tell. Here's some deodorant, uh, so I don't smell. You sort of just put it under your arms and stuff and uh, I do that, it's 48 hours dry non-stop, fresh extreme. I don't know what any of this stuff means. There's loads of like different deodorants and they all say words like extreme mega dry perspirate stuff. I don't really know what the difference is, but um, this was a deodorant at the shop. I 
first one really I saw. Diet Coke, uh, my wife asked for these. You know what Diet Coke is. There's another one. You, you might be thinking, why have you got two four packs rather than eight pack? Well, the four packs are on sale, but there's a quick bit of math there to work out saving about, probably about five pence by um, buying two four packs rather than a one eight pack. You always got to be on the ball in a supermarket, otherwise you can get screwed. These are pull-ups, um, they're nighttime pull-ups. My wife bought the wrong ones the other day, um, bought the daytime ones, which you don't need. Uh, they're for our son because he likes to urinate himself at night time, so um, this way it doesn't go in the bed, it goes in this, and then you just put them in the, the bin in the morning, which is uh, quite good. Uh, at some point, I imagine you'll stop doing that. You don't really get any adults who still wet themselves every night, really, unless they've been drinking quite heavily, so uh, I imagine at some point we'll stop buying these, but for now, like time pull ups. And ham, it's called Drury Lane Ham, outdoor bread, British pork cured and cooked in the bone for extra flavour. Quite like a ham and cheese toasty, although um, I'm still a bit rank, I can't really eat too many of those. Made from pigs, if you don't know much about ham. Uh, I don't know how to think about that though, really, because it makes you a bit sad. Uh, but I can't really be bothered to go vegan, or I think it'd be too much effort, if I'm honest, so I'll just ignore the problem. I don't know what Drury Lane ham is. I bet it's not from Drury Lane. It doesn't seem like there's many farms there. Um, I've just, just ham. Some more ham. This is uh, Parma ham. Uh, I think this probably is from Parma. It's one of those things that has to be from where it says. Don't get a lot of Parma ham, but it's really nice if you've never had it before. You could do a pack in about a minute. Some butter. I get through quite a lot of butter, so I get a few different packs. I've got a variety there. Those are both salted butters. Uh, what I tend to do is I use salted butters for day-to-day -day buttering of bread and stuff like that because I think it helps. And I use unsalted butter. Uh, oh no, they're all salted. Oh, I've messed up again. I thought they said unsalted. It says unpasteurized. All right, I use salted butter for everything, I guess. Okay, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed this haul. It's available at Sainsbury's. Some bits are at other supermarkets as well. You can go and get it uh, if you want me to go to any other shops and like, just buy stuff. Um, Anything that's not really out my way, I don't mind doing if I was going to go there anyway. Just let us know in the comments below. Um, yeah, if anyone's going back to Sainsbury's because they take back my salted butter and get me some unsalted stuff. Cheers. Oh, and, and goose fat. <laughs>